Yeah, that shit wasn't recording all that fucking time. Damn. I mean, damn. Bigger card, so I could record for as long as I wanted to. I mean, goddamn. Well, anyway, this this side, you know, it's not really too much to see on this side. But at least in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do? Look at all these people driving, jogging. Now, seeing how fast I get up to Yankee Stadium, this will really tell you how fast the shit, I mean, how, how little traffic there is. And if I didn't get all this on here, it's because the shit is kind of slanted towards the window and there's a glare on the phone. So I can't see if the shit is, uh, I can't see the buttons. And then the buttons aren't sensitive enough for me to just hit it like that while I'm still concentrating on driving. Well, this is a better view now in the, in the daylight. Storm white. But still, I think this side is the worst side, but. That's why I wanted to, I didn't want to do it while it was gloomy. Because it wouldn't look too good. Now right here, this is the spot where there's usually a lot of traffic. As you can see, people just moving by as they want. And usually you gotta get over here. Usually when it's heavy traffic, you get over here at this point in time. But well, it's not heavy traffic, so but I'm still getting over here because you never know what you might see. See, they said I was speeding, so. And you got a lot of dimwits doing a lot of stupid shit. Like these idiots right here that you see. I mean, damn. Okay, see, normally this is heavy duty traffic going through here because you got people seeing the exit and they're like, I don't want to. Uh, this is a fucking idiot right here. Goddamn idiot. Fuck is wrong with you? And you got masks on. Goddamn idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, people do stupid shit, man. Just, just focus on what the fuck you're doing. You know what I mean? Damn. I told you I got road rage. Everybody does a little bit. But people got a habit of doing stupid shit. You want to sightsee, slow the fuck down. I probably could have and should have gone to Brooklyn but or Queens, but probably would have been more of the same. But there is a guy who's on YouTube. He made a uh, video going into Queens and stuff, so you, you really want to see it or watch this shit. But you see the lady got the mask. See, the funny part is people, they said only come out if you must. Coming out the jog and shit like that. You don't have to do that, but people are doing it. They're risking their lives, but they want to put a mask on. The air is the best place to be <laughs> when you're dealing with viruses. 
know what I mean? So, I mean, you gotta ask yourself a question when you're out and about. Do you normally put on a mask? And do you normally get sick? Yeah, I had people in my car who had colds this past winter. I didn't get nothing. And usually, like if I'm at the job, somebody has a cold going around the office, we all, that shit would be passed around uh, through everybody. But none of us drop dead though. There's another, you got people from Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. They come all this way to come to the number one, you know? They love their Philly and Boston, but they can't stay away from the number one. Well, when you get to this point, I like to get in the middle. When when, it's, when the traffic is heavy, anyway. It's fucking, I hate when people do this shit. Go where you're going, man. Don't go where somebody else is going. God damn. I can't stand that shit. And then they come over here, too. See, they get nervous. They don't know where the fuck they're going. <laughs> and that's funny. You could rewind the video. I just passed that on. Um, the stairs the the girl was passing people and she put um a scarf over her mouth as she was next to people so that's what they're doing they're making people uh, uh mistrust everybody oh man you can have the one you could you could be the one with the corona <laughs> you know but again if it was that deep for everybody you wouldn't even leave the house I wonder what that motherfucker was doing. See, why I leave the house? Man, they got a gate up and shit. See, I like driving the toll freeway. This is going the toll freeway. But coming down the west side, I should check the video before <laughs> make sure I got the shit. Might have to do another runaround. See, on a normal day, like if I wanted to run around Manhattan again, because if I didn't get it, I couldn't really just do that. Because the traffic would be so damn heavy, you'd be like, you're so fucking discouraged, you're like, I ain't about to do that shit. You know? To my left, that's where you start paying. Over here is where, uh oh, what are they doing? <laughs> see all this construction shit they're doing now see when it's heavy traffic see I got supreme driving skill when it's heavy traffic I usually take it as soon as I get it come on come on and these people always fucking slow down getting the way but when the tra traffic is heavy I usually come over here as soon as you can a lot of people hesitate or don't know that this is a, uh, 87 is going to turn into one lane which they need to fix that's what the hell they need to do it's going to turn into one lane and then you get stuck and everybody comes in at the last minute. I don't like letting people come through. This is the Bronx, just in case people don't know. And as you can see, New York City, and over here, when this is high traffic, I like to get over as soon as I can too. First thing, that way you don't waste your time. You know what I mean? And usually I get over it just like that, but this car was over here. See, they, they taking every inch, even the Bronx has, has got steady construction and shit. You know? I don't know what's going on in Staten Island. <laughs> and I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm just saying. Now I gotta admit, this was fucking quick as fuck. I gotta admit. No traffic. If there was regular traffic, it would have taken me probably an hour, two hours to get from the west side or, or from Yonkers to the west side, wrap right around Manhattan to this point. And that's for real. Now, as you can see for the from the size of the Yankee Stadium, 
is coming up. Matter of fact, the traffic is so damn light, you can take 95. I should. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, there is a toll, cheek toll. Yankee Stadium on the, you probably can't see it. I'm not going to move it. It's on the uh, right. See over here, they usually have the bums over here panhandling for money on this road. Damn, I should have taken you to the other spots. <laughs> I almost feel like doing it, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, I might get stuck in traffic. You never know. But apparently, from what you're seeing, there are hardly any police on the road. I don't see military. I, I admit I didn't go deep into the streets, but no military vehicles, no cops trying to stop anybody. You know? Um, oh yeah, and, and for Connecticut people, a lot of people who don't know, they, they, they think they gotta wait in line and take 95. <laughs> they wait so damn long to take 95. Those are people from way out in the other parts of Connecticut. You'll be waiting hours and hours. You just take the digging, stay on the digging, just watch what I'm doing. And you can cut through a whole lot of traffic, save you a whole lot of time. Connecticut, Westchester people. Shit, anybody else looking to go that way? Looking to go to Connecticut and not take 95. I might take this, um, might take this phone into this, uh, I guess I'm going to Target or BJ's, I don't know. I might take the phone in there and, and you know how it is with people filming on the inside so but yeah man this is this is good traffic see it's good for this that's what this corona is good for because normally this road from the fucking uh willis Ave bridge to get exit 14 crossing in the westchester that could take you an hour and a half. Because <laughs> all these distances are really short. You know, from New Jersey to Connecticut, they're really short distances. But it's the fucking traffic <laughs> that turns what could be 10, 20 minutes into two or three hours. You know? That's the crazy part about it. That's why I really would love to see how they say Los Angeles traffic is crazy, but they got all those freeways. I'm like, it looks like they can accommodate everybody. I like to really see how that shit is. You know? I see a few videos. And um You know it is what it is. It didn't look too heavy duty to me, but it looks like it's fun if you like to drive out in Los Angeles, you know. But as you can see, this is why I wanted to do it today because I knew it was going to be sunny and clear. So that way you get to see the full effect. Oh yeah, I still didn't check the time. Damn, is this recording? Yep, still recording. So that's good. But damn it, you missed the views of uh, Lower Manhattan as I wrapped around after I went under that tunnel. So I don't think that made the cut. And since that was all that was missed, I'm not going back to do it again. But as you can see, matter of fact, I should take you through Yonkers, streets of Yonkers. You know what, I got time to do that, so. Let me see, yeah, I didn't miss the exit, so here we go. Take you through the streets of the Bronx. Might as well do that. Bronx, Bronx going up to Yonkers. And um, this way. And I'm going to show you that bullshit White Castle with those fucking Dominicans. 
Now, I wouldn't order from there, but my last experience was horrible. So I'm not fucking with them. This person don't know where they're going. Now, a lot of people don't realize it or don't, may not recall, but the Bronx is like Manhattan. You know, you got East and West Side. It's fucking asshole. It's fucking idiots, man. I mean, where did they learn it from? Where did they learn? I mean, damn. <laughs> it's fucking idiots. Let me make sure this shit is recording. All right. Yeah. The man driving with his mask on. Look like looking like a surgeon and shit. <laughs> Old man, no mask. Now I could have gone to this BJ's the Target. I ain't gonna do that. Just for no cheat one cheesecake, even though the well, we'll see, man. We'll see. But hopefully this camera won't cut off, but the lighting looks better this time. This is my first video with narration. I just hope it got my uh voice on. Cause I didn't sound check, mic check. I didn't do any of that. So see what the deal is. This man ain't worried about Corona and he's not worried about getting hit. Now a lot of people Now, a lot of people are familiar with the five boroughs, but they're not familiar about how Westchester connects with the Bronx or New York. And you're going to see Yonkers is ghetto five. <laughs> Ghetto five to say the least, you know what I mean? So they still got buses coming. I don't know how they're handling that. They limiting the people to five on a bus. They all have masks on. Well, the people getting off the bus. They got masks on. Nobody's going to Burger King, people walking around. I don't understand that shit, man. I really don't understand it. I don't have a mask on, but people who are concerned with the shit, they're walking around with a mask on. And you know they're just walking around just to walk around, just to see what's going on. Why put on a mask? Why get outside? Why go outside? It doesn't make any damn sense. Know what I mean? At least I'm trying to record this whole situation so people can see. Damn. Let me get, up, get away from this guy. I hate these fucking workers in these vans, man. They drive like what they are, crack addicts. <laughs> I mean, damn. Probably 10 to 1 in Mexican. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's what I that's what I gotta do with my uh future videos. Go around the different areas where I, I seen the heavy Mexicans and show the people. And you gotta understand Yonkers, matter of fact, Yonkers is one of them. You might be seeing them, but I don't know if they're gonna be outside or not, but you're gonna see. I'm gonna go everywhere. I mean, everybody knows where these fucking Mexicans are now, but. Yeah. You see this person right here? 
gloves. What do you have rubber gloves on when you're riding your bike? Does that make sense? <laughs> it does not make sense. But the panic is on. Matter of fact, you're concerned about breathing in a virus. Riding your bike is probably the uh, last thing you want to do. But it is what it is. That's what they want you to do. They want to obey like that. That's the way it is. So. And people say the Bronx is bad. Bronx ain't that bad. You know, it, it has some good parts to it. Little kids with the helmet. I never ever wore a helmet riding a bike. Because I feel I got maximum skill. But when I moved the last time, I just left my bike there because I just didn't feel like taking the shit with me. Be honest with you. But I only got hit by a car one time on a bike. starting to hear something on my tire. I just changed the brakes last year, around this time last year. I admit, I changed the rotors. One, the rear brakes were new. The front brakes were still good. I might change the front, because I bought some new ones, but I said, fuck it, I'll keep those, the old ones in. Even though I should have put new ones on because I got new rotors on, like the new one, the fronts were still too good. So I just left them on. Now I'm hearing a little squeak sound when I back up. I'm like, oh boy. I, I mean, damn, this shit was perfect when I put the shit on. Matter of fact, it made the uh, handling of the car like new again once I put those rotors on. Man got a mask. <laughs> mask lady. As you can see, Yonkers 